she's okay. So Sister uh, Sister uh, Mariana, she shared a testimony what happened in her mm -hmm. life. Uh, probably some years ago, not sure exactly how many years ago, uh, sh her husband was not a uh, Christian, uh, so he used to drink a lot. And uh, <clears throat> what happened, uh, she was working, uh, taking care of the elderly people uh, in some place there in Spain, in Madrid. And also her daughter was doing the same thing, but in another place. Her daughter was married, was Christian, and she also was Christian, but her husband was not Christian. And uh, one day she went home to her husband uh, when uh, he was uh, drunk and the sh he took a knife and wanted to stab her and uh, because he wanted the money, the money. And she said, you cannot do anything to me because uh, I don't have money until next week. And uh, at that time uh, he wanted, you know, he put the knife here and she found in her pocket that she still, still, uh, she still had the, the traveling ticket, you know, the bus. And uh -huh. uh, she told him, you know, you can not take my life. The one that gave me the life, he is the only one to take it away. And he knows when to take it away. So she said, God bless you. And she laughed. And she said that she did not know what she was going for a few hours. She was traveling with buses back and forth. She did not know what to do. So I'll try shorter a little bit. O să mă aveți un pic de răbdare acum ca să pot să explic și ei dacă totuși a venit cu noi. Um, she, and um, after all, like sometimes around 12 and 1 uh, a.m., she was sitting on a bench. And uh, it was like one of those trees that had the branches low, low, and almost covering her. And at that time, she was crying there, and the, a big light came from heaven and left her face. And it said, you go back home, or I put you to be a light. So she, she did not know exactly what to do. Finally, she found herself going towards home. During that time, he got scared. He woke up and because it was night and she was nowhere to be found. And he called the daughter. <clears throat> and what happened? <clears throat> the daughter took uh, the bus or something or uh, train and wanted to visit the parents to see what's happening, thinking that maybe she's dead or something and wanted to call the cops and call the hospitals and so on. And what happened? Somebody stole her um, wallet, purse with money and the phone. And she did not have them anymore. And so anyways, she found herself walking towards home, so very near to home. And finally she reached home uh, be, uh, after her daughter. And when she knocked at the door or rang the bell, then uh, both uh, her husband and the daughter came and uh, she got inside and uh, uh, was not able to talk much. The daughter said, what happened? Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, ask your daddy. So they went to bed. And in the morning, um, her husband said, come and drink some coffee. Mm -hmm. And he had the TV on. And what happened? <clears throat> The news was on right at the place where sister was. Sister Mariana was somebody was killed. A young lady was killed. And she said that the moment she heard the news, she could not stop crying for half an hour because she could have been the one dead. But the power of the Holy Spirit and the tree, uh, God protected her right there on that bench. So they went afterwards and, uh, and explained exactly what happened and how God protected her from, uh, first of all, to be killed, from being killed by her husband, and second, by being killed by whoever was the thief uh, that stole the wallet or, and purse from her daughter and killed the other woman. And uh, uh, God worked in, uh, in her life, so she remained uh, faithful to him. And 10 years later, he died, but he turned to Christ and passed away. And a uh, few days after, and uh, he wa she wanted to encourage everyone, you know, if you do have husbands that are not Christian yet, or members in the family that are not Christians yet, don't give up. Because God is the one that is working, you just need to show your love and uh, God is working miracles, you know, he's the one that's speaking to, uh, to people and when God knows when to allow these things to happen in somebody's life, because not everyone is able to endure, to be beaten or so on. So, wow. Yeah, it was wow. a great testimony. Yeah, Marta Risir, extraordinary. Slavisa, Fiat Domnul, Gloria Domnului Isus. Oh, thank you.